Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Mm -hmm. A leaked memo is out. The leaked memo, what he revealed, ah, uh, it will shock you. It will, you'll be shocked, you know. So I won't go. It, you'll be shocked, really. Leaked memo revealed Bajagmamila approval of three billion for better edu. He approved it. So do, whatever they are saying now, don't get it twisted. She is just the one to take the fall. But guess what? A lot of other people are involved. And if this investigation is going to go all the way, then we need to see, we need to, we need to really know every single person involved. Femi Bajagwamela, the chief of staff to the president, I don't know how, you know, he gets to, he, he gets to approve. I don't know how the Nigerian system works that he gets to approve, you know, exactly what's going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Leaked memo revealed Bajagwamela's approval of three billion for better Edo, which is coming up as investigation begins. A leaked memo from the chief of staff office has shed light on the controversy surrounding the suspended Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management, Veta Edo. The document reveals that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has approved a three billion contract for verifying the National Social Register, a program established under the previous administration of Muhammadu Buhari. The memo dated September 18th and signed by the Chief of Staff, Femi Bajagamila, confirms the President's green light for $3 billion expenditure from the COVID-19 Palliative Fund. The document was titled, Convenience of Approval, Appeal to Use $3 billion from COVID-19 Palliative Fund for verification of national security register. In the memo, Bajagmamela wrote, the above subject refers to, to re reference to be informed that Mr. President has approved and released the sum of three billion only for the COVID-19 palliative fund and verification of the national social register. The memo has sparked further debate, controversy over the use of the COVID-19 fund and involvement of the chief of staff approver in the process. Tinubu's administration has started and now there is <laughs> chief of staff approving money, just like it happened in Buhari's administration, that a lot of persons question if Buhari was in ch charge or what exactly was going on. So it is a very, very serious issue right now. Femi Bajgamela has been involved in what is happening, okay? And we want to understand it. We want to know, you know, what's going on and every single detail, we want to get it. Because uh, part of what Buhari was you know, accused of was that he has no real, you know, he has no real grip on the nation. He had to leave it, you know, for some other people to come on board, you know, and every other thing. So this is part of what is happening now. And we want the truth to be manifested. As it stands at the moment, Bajabamila has been involved in Bata's, uh, you know, Bata's um, issue. And the truth is, we want to understand it. Femi Bajabamila, the, the memo is out. You cannot deny it. If you, can, if you can go ahead and expand it, you can see for yourself, you know, because investigations are on and we want, no, there is no place to hide, okay? The goldfish finds it very difficult to hide and this is what is coming up. You know, the lady was very proud to say that if she goes down, she will reveal a lot more. For somebody to say that the person knows exactly what he or she is saying and she said it confidently and now investigations has revealed that chief of staff to the president Femi Bajagwamela may have a hand and people are questioning because an outrage has come upon how come Femi Bajagwamela is carrying out approval he's a chief of staff a personal assistant you know keeping the president itinerary and all that you know more or less if I'm not mistaken if I'm not mistaken 
a personal secretary to the president, does that give him the approval stamp? Okay, so we don't know. And that is why the outrage is there. And more and more people are asking questions. Okay, more and more people are asking questions. What's going on? How did we get here? And what can be done differently in order for Nigeria to move forward? You know, with all that is happening, how come you are now holding, you are not the one approving? And again, this thing is coming from palliative funds. So, I mean, COVID has gone, is gone, is, is, is come and gone. The funds are still there. And um, so people are taking advantage and utilizing it for whatever reason. So we really need a real system of accountability in this government. You know, you, you come in and you say you are fighting, you are fighting, you know, uh, uh, corruption. Then accountability must be part of fighting corruption. It's not just on some people, it's on all levels. We want to understand what you guys are doing. A word is enough for the wise. Enough is enough. We don't want the same thing happening over and over again. How come Femi Bajwamela is the one, you know, approving uh, up to the sum of 3 billion naira? Because we don't know all together that is going on, but they are aware, they know exactly what's happening, and we want to get to the bottom of this. So this is part of what is happening. This is part of what is going on. And we want the truth to be manifested so that together we can truly make a whole lot of difference. Nigerians, it is what it is. Every one of us must understand that until we put our foot down and say no to an oppressive government, okay, where they say one and they are doing another, we may not truly get to the bottom of what is going on. Every one of them that comes in quote and unquote is fighting corruption. Every one of them that comes is fighting corruption. But we don't see corruption being fought. You know, what we see is rather very differently. So we want the truth to be to be to be revealed. Yes, we want the truth to be revealed. So Femi, how come you are the one approving, you know, such an amount of money? How come you are the one approving it? So my people, what do you think? President Tinubu is there. The chief of staff is now the one approving up to three billion. I mean, probably that's why better you know made a boast saying if she goes down. Some, 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 of course, some people have weaved it all that she's, you know, she's, uh, she's bluffing, but she says she will expose all. But again, in Nigeria, who listens to when people come to expose things? God will help us. We need to, we re need to really reevaluate who we are and begin to put things right back in place. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.